Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a lot of stuff to get through here today, but I'm going to try and make it quick for you guys because I know you're busy out here, right? Let's start off with the liquidation heat map. What is Bitcoin doing? Where is it going? Where are the areas that these market makers will target in order to liquidate the leverage junkies out there in the streets? Well, uh, as you can see right here, we've got uh, 67.4 with a cool 165 million up for grabs if they want to bring it up there. Okay, we are seeing a little bit of hints that we could potentially head up very very soon but uh, as of right now uh yeah pretty much in the middle of the range uh, just kind of hanging on for dear life we also have 148 mil towards the lower side as you can see there uh so if they do want to bring this down lower and again i'm i'm kind of i'm I'm in the middle right now until we really get to about 63.5. If we get to 63.5, and I'll show you in a minute, uh, if we get to 63.5, it's looking very, very good uh, for a potential long. Okay, so uh, we'll just see how that goes. But as of right now, yeah, just hanging off the cliff here, trying to hold on for dear life before the run potentially ends or we just trap and explode towards the upside. Uh, talking about exploding towards the upside, uh, we can see here that, yeah, currently right now, the energy value for Bitcoin is 79.1. All right, what that means is... Uh, yeah, I mean, if we get above it, Bitcoin goes parabolic in, in terms of general history. We can see this happening uh, pretty much every single time we get above it, right? So, uh, yeah, if we can get above that level, fantastic. As of right now, still below there. But, yeah, keep your eye out for that in case we do get one of these massive uh, pumper rumpers towards the sky, of course. Uh, next up as well, uh, energy consumption. We can see that this has uh, this has come down, obviously, recently in, in previous uh, weeks slash months. And, yeah, this is directly correlated with Bitcoin's tops throughout history, as you can see here. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that this has dumped down recently isn't a fantastic sign, but uh, I think this run is, is a little bit different to what we normally see in a bull run. And uh, the reason for that is you can see right here, right? This this is obviously, we know this chart, okay? This is orange right now, which means we're slowing down. But when it's green, uh, we get absolutely parabolic towards the upside. Uh, but we can see here in, in the oscillator format that actually uh, this, this is printing something that's very different to what we've seen in the past in terms of the past runs, right? Uh, this is very spotty. This is very uh, kind of indecisive of whether this wants to head up. Uh, whether that's a trap and we just explode uh, very, very soon is up for debate. But as of right now, yeah, it's it's not really in tandem with the rest of the wave. So just keep keep in mind that this wave may be a little bit new, uh, unique uh, compared to, to previous waves and, and uh, kind of uh, catering our TA towards that anyway. Uh, production cost here, we are still above, uh, but yeah, this has lost its kind of value over time because we got over it a while ago, right? Uh, and the creator keeps changing that one. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why here. In terms of trade updates, we haven't taken any new trades here. We've had a couple scalps on our uh, Gambly Leverage account over on Stormgain, but um, yeah, that's more for shorts. And it's more for fun for me, okay? And uh, yeah, it's, it is fun. It's, hopefully, it's fun for you guys to watch. Hope you've been enjoying my shorts, my short content. But as of right now, yeah, in, in terms of serious trading and not gambling, guys, uh, we are, uh, yeah, we've been taking some 10x trades and yeah we're on a seven trade win streak so looking pretty good at the moment uh we will see if this continues the the record for us right now uh, in terms of winning trades in a row i believe is 26 it might be 28 but it could be 26 uh, i'll have to double check that in the old archives but uh yeah if we can get close to that that'd be fantastic i haven't had a streak like this in a while i think the last streak we got to something like maybe six or seven trades so uh, yeah we're kind of on par with that right now if we can get a nice big win very very soon that'd be fantastic and that will be on the copy trading 5k to 100k challenge as you can see here right so building that up again let's get it going and then the final thing i wanted to show you guys a little bit of new data for you we've got etf outflows coming from yesterday 112 million dollars which uh, is not good it's not good at all, right? It means institutions are getting a little bit shaky out here uh, and withdrawing their Bitcoin. Um, and the day before that, or, or the week, yeah, the Friday before that, it was uh, just under a mil outflow. So uh, yeah, we would need some inflows to come through here. And this, this is kind of correlating with the price. When, when we do see big inflows, we do see that price increase uh, because people are predicting the supply shock. Therefore, they are buying Bitcoin, right? A uh, pretty simple stuff there. But um, yeah, as of right now, outflows... <laughs> 
looking like they're, they're pouring out. They're pouring outflows here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on that. We will have to keep an eye on that. But, yeah, I mean, as of right now, we are chilling, waiting. We have currently broken structure here on the daily, which is not a great sign. Usually when this happens in a run, uh, we, we either come down and consolidate for some time before making another wave or we begin a bear market. Okay, <laughs> so just be careful out here. Uh, one thing I'm looking for here right now is this three-day volume weighted ATR band. This is super crucial. Okay, usually this is the area where we like to pull back to and get pumps from. Okay, if we do go back in history here, so we're following this line here, all right? We're following this little pink bad boy here, right? So usually... Usually when we're above this in a run, this is a great indication of how strong our, uh, our bull market is, right? So, and when we lose it, as you can see here, then the, the bull market ends and when we begin our bear market. So if we can stay above this like, like we didn't do here, <laughs> if we can stay above it like we did for the entire run uh, last time around, that'd be fantastic. And again, I'm talking about this line here, okay? Uh, so yeah, and we can go back to the previous run before that. You can see similar stuff happening, okay? Uh, when we did get above it here, as you can see, right again this little pink line here once we got above it and we stayed above it okay this is essentially the major support and if we can hold on it it's great okay so uh yeah just be careful we are getting dangerously close to that bad boy Let's see if we can get all the way back to the start here there we go yeah so we are getting dangerously close to this bad boy and that currently is around 60,400 so uh, if we're going to have an absolute trap and then a, then a huge recovery then uh yeah it's 60,000 60,500 but i'm more looking at around 63 right if we can if we can have a little trap here to 63 and then recover essentially when i'm looking for the long is going to be uh very very simple right it's going to be very very simple let me zoom in for you guys here right i'm looking to break this resistance line all right so this diagonal sloping resistance line but i'm also looking to reclaim this four hour volume weighted atr band uh, if if we head below it okay so if we head below this four hour volume weighted atr band uh, i'm looking for a nice low to form underneath it okay and then once we close a couple four hour candles uh, above this four hour then uh, yeah that's going to be a great sign that we recover Okay, but I won't be longing until we're over this trend line as well. All right, so we need to get over both of those lines uh, after losing them. Of course, we've lost one already. Okay, uh, and now, uh, yes, it's it's looking to see what happens next. Uh, and again, obviously, if we curl over like this um, above this four hour, it is risky, but you could probably find a little long here as well, uh, bringing us back to test the horizontal trend lines, uh, the horizontals. Um, yeah, horizontals coming through here. Horizontal levels is what I'm looking for, yeah. So potentially a little trade here from about maybe 65.6 all the way up to 67.5, which is huge, but we need to get over this trend line. So uh, yeah, yes, we are around the 65 area right now, but if we don't get above this trend line at any time, then uh, it's not really the long I'm looking for just yet, okay? So really, let's look to see if we can break that resistance. If we can, then there's money to be made here and we can extend that winning streak uh, with the trades. Uh, if not, then uh, yeah, I mean, we could go lower very, very easily and i think if we do go lower uh, it's going to be a scenario here i think i just messed up my whole setup but uh yeah it's going to be a scenario here uh where yeah we just wait to look to reclaim both these areas right uh, ideally uh, in the next kind of uh, few weeks and then yeah the run maybe continues or we come up to try and retest this trend line and we get another kind of attempt at, a, at an all-time high here but um yeah looking okay right now uh, obviously the market's not looking great in terms of uh, price but uh yeah the fact that we're above this four hour is great and if we can see uh, in previous attempts down here we can see that yeah every time we hit this four hour we usually get pretty substantial reactions here right so uh, yeah we are going to be looking for that again because it is just such a critical piece of data that we need to be paying attention to and again guys i've been doing this for a very very long time eight years okay eight years 8,000 years here and what we will say is uh yeah I mean I've seen this all before I've seen this all before and if we can um get a similar edge to what we've done last run then uh yeah it's going to be a lot of money to be made and again we haven't hit this three day in a while so I would imagine some reactions off of it anyway so hopefully we come down to the low 60s we hit this three day volume weighted ATR band we reclaim all of these bad boys and then we bang it okay we bang it from that point uh, and we ob obviously go long as we bang it, right, and make money. Uh, that's the plan. That's the plan coming through here. 
In terms of everything else, altcoins and stuff like that, uh, I will just say, be very, very careful out there. A lot of these, a lot of these coins uh, are getting absolutely obliterated. Uh, even Gala right now uh, is is getting destroyed. Doge, I did a video yesterday on. We basically said, hey, if we lose this this trend line, we're expecting to head down to this one. And yes, that's exactly what we did. The measure move on this bad boy. I'm actually on the wrong chart here. If we can. Okay, yeah, the measure move on this bad boy uh, is actually down to ten cent seven. So we will keep an eye on that on Doge. But uh, yeah, as of right now, it's pretty much going to plan here for Doge. We're just waiting to see what happens uh, once we hit this trend line, and then obviously, if we can reclaim this four-hour volume weighted ATR band similar to Bitcoin, then uh, yeah, money to be made here once that starts to recover. My stomach is rumbling because I'm hungry. Okay, I'm super hungry. And again, Gala is just getting obliterated. Right, it's getting obliterated here. I'm not sure what's going on with this thing, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm a little bit a little bit cautious here to really add more, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will just wait for this four hour as well uh, to really get going. So uh, yeah, if this if this is a downtrend that wants to continue, then we just wait to reclaim that four hour, and then yeah, we get a lower entry, of course. So um, yeah, let's chill here. Let's wait. Let's. Uh, Let's be cautious in these markets because it can be very, very dangerous out here, right? We are seeing some kind of wedge structures form as well here on the four hour. So maybe there will be a play as we get over that uh, coming through very, very soon. All right. So uh, yeah, don't be rushing into too many trades. I know I'm putting out these crazy gambling shorts, but uh, I can do this, right? I'm in the position to do that. You guys should definitely not do this. Okay. And uh, yeah, I will be releasing videos of why I'm taking these trades soon because I want to link the shorts to actual videos, but uh, that will come in time. Okay. Right now we're just trying to uh to go viral and have fun doing it right <laughs> so uh hopefully i can help you guys along the way any value you've got from this then uh yeah be sure to to use it and use it at your own risk all of that good stuff i'm just here to help you at the end of the day as my mentors helped me in the beginning so i will see you very very soon have a fantastic one be sure to like the video if you want to help me out and also yeah links in the description for exchanges patreon all of that good stuff see you very soon